my heartiest namaskar especially to the dignitaries on the dais and the dignitaries in the front rows in the audience to all the delegates my namaskar my good morning and jai swami nan to all well the topic for the talk today given to me by the administrators of this conference is balance sheet of life we are all the people sitting here dealing with balance sheets day in and day out but those balance sheets of accounts it all money matters but this is something different the balance sheet of life because we live in this 21st century and the state of affairs of the 21st century man and the 21st century society we read it about it we know about it we have heard about it that this are the times of fancier houses but broken homes this are the times of double incomes and more divorces this are the times of high rise buildings and low rise characters this are the times of broader highways but narrower viewpoints this are the times where man has gone all the way to the moon and has come back but he finds it difficult to cross the road and meet the new neighbor this are the times where man has broken the atom and he has produced a mass amount of energy but he finds it difficult to break up prejudice we have broken the atom but we find it difficult to break up prejudice the list is very long describing the state of affairs of the 21st century man and society but in short you can say that these are the times where we have much to show in the show window and nothing in the stock room दिखाने के लिए हमारे पास बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं लेकिन हृदय में एक शुद्ध भावना मन में पवित्र विचार वो कम होते जा रहे हैं इसलिए वेन एवर आई टॉक टू चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स आई टॉक इन एन नंबर ऑफ ओकेजन ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स एट डब्ल्यू आर सी एट एस आई आर सी टू ईयर्स बैक इन एस आई आर सी वी एट थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स माई वेरी गुड फ्रेंड ही वॉज द चेयरमैन ऑफ एस आई आर सी मिस्टर फाल्गुना कुमार he invited me for the talk at tirupati and uh, about 3 uh, 7 8 years back in mumbai i talked to like about 2200 chartered accountants at yogi sabha guru in dadar so i always have a good rapport with the chartered accountants so whenever i talk to them i say ca is not just a chartered account but but ca also means a careful analyst of life ca ca is not just a chartered accountant he also means a careful analyst of life aap logo ki companies ki balance sheet banate ho aapke jeevan bhi ki ek balance sheet banani chahiye banate honge lekin i am going to infuse some good values into it today the first important aspect of making a balance sheet of your life very well is that we have to introspect that basically we are the only existence upon this earth that we have been gifted with the power to think by god no other animal has this we have been gifted with the power to collect information the power to transform that information into knowledge and ultimately process that knowledge into wisdom but the miserable state of affairs is that very less percentage of this information has been transformed into knowledge and perhaps very very less 0.00001% perhaps of that knowledge has been transformed into wisdom and so we are not able to make a good balance sheet of life because we have not processed that information into knowledge and knowledge into wisdom your job as professionals is to make balance sheet of companies and individuals our job as saints is to make you understand better the balance sheet of life so we are all into the same profession making balance sheets but we are into a different sphere so we need to introspect 
why am i a specially privileged entity upon this earth who has this power and to utilize that power judiciously makes us a complete human being gives us a balance sheet of life because perhaps in this 21st century very sad to say but the real story is this literate people have caused more damage to the society than illiterate people so these bombs and missiles are not made by illiterate people i'm now justifying my statement these bombs and missiles and weapons of mass destruction are not made by illiterate people they are made by some of the best science graduates from some of the best universities okay again thefts and crimes performed by illiterate people are small if they commit a theft it is 5000 rupees 50000 rupees and if a literate person deciding to do and go for it and in power perhaps he can do 1 lakh crores 1.5 lakh crores 2 lakh crores so literate people have caused more damage to this society than illiterate people and sometimes in the worst unethical practices that a profession goes into he can maneuver the balance sheets of companies and that is also causing a big damage to society the government and the nation if somebody goes majority of you don't go but if somebody in your profession goes he can maneuver things maneuver balance sheets and for the small petty profit or benefit of this company he can create a huge loss to the society the exchequer so today the literate people they cause more damage to the society than illiterate people just because of one reason that they lack in the basic ethical values the sanskars of life that is the principal reason that would arrange adjust your balance sheet of life well we need to focus on that too much of leaning towards materialism and lesser importance towards morality and spirituality is one of the principal reasons where our balance sheets are not gaining equality at the end but remember one thing too much leaning towards materialism in life has got severe repercussions and could damage our life physically mentally emotionally and spiritually you should always have a balance of materialism and spirituality in life that would balance your sheet well because if there are 100 things that money can buy and make you happy there are other 1000 things that money cannot buy and you still need them to be more happy in life after this seminar you go back home and make a good balance sheet the left column is things that money can buy a flat a bungalow a car a farm house an office all the things that money can buy and make you happy and on the other side of the balance sheet you write down things that money cannot buy trust friendship relationships truth health that money cannot buy and you want it to be more happy you will find as a chartered accountant that the left hand side column stands no position in front of the right hand side column that things that money cannot buy and you are happy you have to give a thought once in a while to it and lean to have a proper balance of materialism and spirituality in life we always feel that more money more happiness more luxury is more happiness which is a wrong notion and the biggest disease of the 21st century professional so they are not able to make their life a balanced one i sometimes jokingly say that we feel that for me heaven upon earth and me hell upon this earth is a very simple definition me means we all 
that if I get a combination of these five things in life, it is heaven on earth. And if I get the combination of the other five things, it's hell upon earth. The combination of five things that we feel that can make heaven for me upon this earth is these five things. American salary, if you are paid in dollars. A British house, a German car, an Audi or a Merc, Skoda or a Rolls, Chinese food, four things, American salary, British house, German car, Chinese food, and Indian wife. This five combination, if I get in my life, it's heaven on earth. And you know the reverse of it, the hell on earth? Indian salary. They say Chinese house because sometimes people live in boat houses there. They don't have enough space to live. So they live in boat houses. They say German food. They say American car. So four things. Indian salary, Chinese house, German food, American car, and a British wife. Because they say three W's, they change in Britain anytime. Weather, wine, and wife. They change in Britain anytime. And perhaps that could perhaps be the reason, I don't know, that at the start of every website, they have WWW. <laughs> at the start of every website, they have WWW. Maybe because of this reason that you can open up and get anything from it. Just lighter moments apart. What I mean to say is you need a balance of materialism and spirituality to make a balance sheet of your life. Otherwise you will repent at the end of your life if you have not balanced it well. Napoleon Bonaparte said, I can buy any riches upon this earth and under the sun. I can have the world at my feet. But I haven't seen six happy days in my life. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, his limousine cars were studded with diamonds and the cavalcade of salmon limousine cars. When the president of America did not have it, he had it. And he was the first superstar, perhaps the greatest entertainer the planet has ever seen, traveling by private jets. First jet would take him and his team and the second jet his audio system at the stage. When he was just 21, there were more than 30 Elvis endorsed products in the market. And his biographer, he writes that Elvis is only the second person in history to become famous by the first name after Jesus. That popularity. Self earned $1,000 million in 1975. By the year 1975, when he was just 32, self earned $1,000 million. The king of rock and roll. Today at his memorial in Memphis, every day from all over the world, about more than 1,000 people visit. At the age of 33, when once his secretary, she stepped in, he was playing his famous composition, How Great Dawat on his piano. And his secretary asked, Sir, how are you feeling at the peak of your career? And he dropped his hand from the piano and said, Alone. Are bhai sahab, Every day in the evening, you get an audience of from 1,000 to 5,000. People wanting to see you. And you, after doing your famous swivel, he would open up his leather jacket and throw in the audience. And within seconds, it would be small pieces. People would take a Elvis souvenir back home. That fame and you say you're feeling alone? And on 16th August, 1977, at the age of 33, Elvis took 40 sleeping pills at night and never woke up. He committed suicide. At the age of 33, at the peak of his career. Absolute and overwhelming desire for materialism in life and overleaning towards it will land you nowhere. You need to have a balance of materialism and morality and spirituality in life. Otherwise, we can be a good loser, made Napoleon Bonaparte or Elvis Presley. I have hundreds of these examples. 
So when I talk to professionals, I come from one of the largest organizations in the world, the BAPS Swaminar and Sansta. We are among the top 10 NGOs of the world with a permanent seat in the United Nations as an NGO. We do 162 different kinds of activities all over the world. How many have been to Akshardham at Ahmedabad or Delhi? Just raise your hands, like most of you. Such 1,200 campuses we have in 60 countries of the world. We have more than 100 hospitals, hostels, schools, and colleges. And everything of this, this 1,200 campuses and 1,000 social institutes created by one person, Pramukh Swami Maharaj, single-handedly and successfully administered it. Aapke paas to ek office, ek setup, ek ghar hoga to bhi sham ko paanch baje tak to pagal ho jate honge. So such 1200 campuses all over the world. He single-handedly erected those and successfully administered it. He initiated more than 1200 saints like us. Out of them, more than 750 of our saints are graduates, postgraduates, chartered accountants, doctors and engineers. And nice to tell you today that more than eight saints of the organization, they are chartered accountants, CAs. Out of them, two are from Africa and one is from the US. I think they call it the CPA there, something. Yeah, and one is from London. Out of those, about 150 saints are born American and British citizens. Out of those, about more than 50 saints in the organization, they are Cambridge, Oxford, Stanford, Yale, Carnegie Mellon graduates. So standing in front of you today, trying to give you some insight into balance sheet of life is not just a couple of books that I'm coming in front of you. We are deeply involved in the administration and the management of this organization, so we know what is administration, what is no management, we know what is HR, we know what is networking, we know what is infrastructure and system. We are eight hours into it. What I'm talking to now is my part-time job. It's not my full-time job. It's my hobby to share and care for the society. And I've been talking since 24 years. I've not charged a single penny to anybody for my talks, not even today. It's just my selfless service to society. Why I'm telling you this is US professionals have one side experience of professionalism and work. We have two side experience of prof professionalism, work and spirituality. So I can talk to you about it from the balance point of view. Pramukh Swami Maharaj, you created this organization to this level. And I tell you, it's easy to run a corporate, difficult to run an NGO of this class. Because in your corporate work structure, you have pay and smile relationship with the, between the employer and the employee. The employee likes the pay of the employer, so there is a smile on his face. And the employer likes the work of the employee, so there is a smile on his face. It's called pay and smile relationship. You are in NGO, we have serve and smile relationship. You have to serve selflessly, lifetime, and keep a smile on your face and smile in your life. Difficult to run an NGO of this level than a corporate. Pramukh Swami Maharaj was successful in running this corp NGO to this level. And the amount of hard work that he put, he traveled to 18,000 villages in 60 countries in his lifetime. We have seen him at the age of 70, 75, and 80, at 12 midnight, traveling to deep Adivasi hutments, bettering the life of people. People used to write to him for their personal or family issues. He read and answered more than 7.5 lakh letters in his lifetime. At an unbelievable average of reading and answering 70, 70 letters a day for 45 years without a Sunday. एक व्यक्ति कितनी हद तक काम कर सकता है मैं आपको अंदाज देता हूं सो so, आठ घंटे आप काम करें ऑफिस में और शाम को माय गॉड टू मच टायर्ड ये कभी मत बोलना ही मेट मोर देन टू मिलियन पीपल पर्सनली कॉन्वर्स विद देम ही पर्सनली विजिटेड एज वी हैव कम टू योर ओकेजन टुडे 3.5 लाख 
in his lifetime he was a one man organization one man army why i narrated this to you that because he had the balance of work and spirituality in life he was always at peace with himself and peace in the surrounding balance of materialism and spirituality when he was asked which thought remains with you 24/7 he said the thought that has never entered my mind shall i tell it first and that was more interesting and he said the thought of hurting anybody physically mentally or emotionally has never entered my mind kisi ka ahit ho mere jeevan mein kabhi wo vichar nahi aaya this is spirituality आप तो जानने की कोशिश करते हो कि मेरे जो कॉम्पिटिटर है उसके पास क्लाइंट्स कितने हैं कौन कौन क्लाइंट्स उसके पास जाते हैं और वो जो क्लाइंट है उसके पास तो पहुंचने के लिए मेरे पास एक मिडल मैन है आई कैन टेल हिम दैट यू कैन कम टू मी नॉट टू हिम थोड़ी अंतरदृष्टि करना उसके हिसाब से उसके नसीब से उसकी पढ़ाई से उसके काम से वो कुछ कमा रहा है ही इज लिविंग इज लाइफ by your education your know how your experience your dignity you work and you want simple one thought of spirituality can balance your life there are hundreds of such thoughts which can balance your life well so ca is not just a chartered accountant he is a careful analyst of life ca so for balance of life to make a good balance sheet of life at the end of your life i take seminars with professionals and i teach them a system that i have devised out of my reading and experiences and traveling all the world and meeting professionals every second day i'm talking to professionals at some of the other place i have devised a theory that 8 plus 8 plus 8 is the system for balance sheet in life of the 24 hours that you have in your life every day it should be well distributed into 8 plus 8 plus 8 system aapko pravachan mein aur koi baatein yaad na rahe to ye ek baat ghar leke jana 8 plus 8 plus 8 first eight hours of the day your honest ethical hard work in your profession first eight hours of the day is your honest ethical hard work in your profession second eight hours is a good sleep or rest third eight hours are very important if you're not able to manage the third eight hours of the day you may lose your life and if you can well manage the third eight hours of the day you can well win your life the third eight hours of the day we teach it is 3f 3h and 3s 3f is family friends and faith 3h is health hygiene and hobby and 3s is your soul service and smile this nine departments should consume the third eight hours of the day of course in fragments if you can well distribute your day into 8 plus 8 plus 8 system it is a good balance sheet of life a good balance sheet of day and thus your life Again I repeat the third eight hours are 3F 3H and 3S 3F is family friends and faith 3H is health hygiene hobby 3S is soul service and smile into this nine departments you distribute your third eight hours of time and it is a balanced life well lived so you don't have complaints from any quarters of life from any people in your life because you have lived a balanced life you have given even enough time apart from your profession to your family to your friends to your faith to your health to your hygiene to your hobby to your services any ngo or any good cause of the society that you are involved with so well distribution of time well balance of time that can give you a good balance sheet of life varna companies ya professionals ki jo aap balance sheet banate ho paise ki अपनी लाइफ की बनानी बहुत जरूरी है अदरवाइज यू विल रिपेंड एट दैट एंड ऑफ योर लाइफ मुगल सम्राट औरंगजेब बोले सारी जिंदगानी फिजुल गई नेपोलियो बोनापाट बोले आई हैवन सीन सिक्स हैप्पी डेज इन माई लाइफ 
तो ये बारी आपकी न आए एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी और एटी इसके लिए ये बात और विचार है एंड आई समाइम्स jokingly say that the amount of money that is in your bank account when you die is the extra work you did you shouldn't have done aapko zarurat nahi thi kyunki aapke marne ke baad wo paise kahan jayenge kaise jayenge kis tarah se use hoga wo aapko to pata hai nahi so now in america millionaires and billionaires club has started the basic criteria for membership in this club is that you have to pledge and donate 80% of all your wealth only then you become the member of this club aur usme thousands of people hain because the power of money is in giving not accumulating to understand this basics of spirituality gives you a balance sheet of life बैलेंस शीट ऑफ योर लाइफ अगर आपने अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिस की तो एक दिन बिगड़ सकती है अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिस करके आपने किसी की बैलेंस शीट तो सुधार दी लेकिन आपके जीवन की बैलेंस शीट बिगड़ जाएगी बिकॉज यू हैव चीटेड विथ योर कॉन्साइंस चीटेड विथ दी एक्स चेकर वो तो बाद की बात है You have cheated your own conscience because with your own hands and own mind you have done something wrong. An unethical practice will land you nowhere. आपकी balance sheet बिगड़ जाएगी. Remember, no pillow is as soft as a clear conscience. आप रात को सोते वक्त सबसे अच्छा pillow कौन सा है आपके लिए? A clear conscience that I have not done anything wrong today. And if you do something wrong. you are into the animal phylum not the human phylum and unethical practices ki to aapki balance sheet of life zarur bigad sakti hai even if the name of your company is satyam and you go for a satya practices you can be in jail for 7 years a man of 8000 crores let's step up even if you are the sahara of thousands of families by creating homes for them you can last still lie be sahara in tihar for 4 years hayana a man of 20000 crores even if you are the king of the skies you have to leave india without an indian passport on a diplomatic passport aayenge janab thode din mein wapas bharat mein एक्सट्राडिशन की बात चल रही है लंदन कोर्ट ने ऑलमोस्ट डिसीजन दे दिया है एंड व्हेन विल कम यर एंड ओपन इज माउथ लॉट मेनी पीपल कैन बी इन ट्रबल ये सर नो सो इवन इफ यू आर राजू और राजा और किंग और एनीबडी अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिसेस कैन लैंड यू इन जेल अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिसेस कैन रूइन योर करियर एंड योर लाइफ एंड द स्ट्रेस दैट कम्स इन बिकॉज ऑफ अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिस वेन यू आर कॉट your balance sheet of life is spoiled permanently you will lose your career you will lose your practice you will lose your life you will lose your family so thoda profit mile usse anand mein rehna lekin ethical practices kabhi chhodna mat that is your lifeline even if you are after becoming an electrical engineer for example in your 30 years of practice with the maharashtra electricity board you don't have the right to put your finger inside the plug aap plug ke samne baith ke apni ungli dikhaoge ki i am the chairman of the maharashtra electricity board 35 years of distribution of electricity under my belt then i am the absolute power authority this is my finger ye keh ke bhi aap plug mein andar ungli daloge Electric city doesn't know your post, position and power. It only knows human flesh and blood. Chipka degi mar jaoge. Usi tarah ethical, unethical jo practices hai, wo apki post, position, power ko nahi pechanti. I am a chartered accountant practicing in Mumbai since forty years. Whoever you are, unethical practices is like electric city. It doesn't know your post, position and power. Chipka degi mar jaoge. Am I right or wrong? I'm asking the elders. Absolutely right. They have years of experience sitting in the front and leading from the front. 